Malo Lele. My name is Joseph, and I've got Muffy here with me. We're from the Heart Foundation. What we're going to do today is show you how to make a nice, tasty, healthy salad. What I've got in front of me, some nice, colorful vegetables, give us all these different kinds of nutrients. I've got vermicelli. Yes, vermicelli. Some of you know it from chop suey. Okay, we'll call it chop suey, we'll call it vermicelli. And I've got some nice shredded chicken here from chicken that we've just bought from the grocery store. And we've just shredded all the nice healthy bits out and taken all that skin off. So this dish is gonna be called our chicken and lime noodle salad, okay? So what I've got in front of me is just a little bit of a guide to what we're gonna do today. And we've got this on the website. Okay, Muffy, what are we gonna start with? We're going to start off with the vermicelli because we need to soak that okay. in hot water. We'll and many of our Pacific people, like you said, they know it from the chop suey, but this is to show that you can use vermicelli to make salad and add different other flavors um, into it as well. Okay, so do I really need to uh, boil this up or what are different ways that I can prepare this uh, vermicelli? Some people actually pot it in a saucepan pan and boil it. Okay. Uh, some just boil the water and and add so that just soaks it up. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so I've just got the hot water here. Just gonna pour that in. Careful not to burn myself. So how long will this take normally? Um, probably um, 10 minutes or so. So during the time that we're going to be uh, chopping up the vegetables, that will be enough time just to make it soft. Make sure it's all soaked in. That's probably a good idea. Are there different nutrients that we get from different colours? Definitely. The colours actually show that there are different types of vitamins in those vegetables, which are great for us, for us to be able to access energy from uh, the chicken. We've got the chicken here with uh, the skin off, which is good protein. Okay. So the vitamins from the vegetables ensure that we get the energy out of the protein. Otherwise, we'll have the protein and we won't, the body won't be using it. Capsicum. Or if people don't really like it raw, they could also blanch it, just boil water, add it in for a minute or two, just mm. to soften it, and then out into icy water, just to keep that uh, flavour in and also the vitamins in, and it doesn't have then that strong flavour to it. Okay. Um, that most people will, yeah. Before we we did this, we we were re already washed it, the vegetables, haven't we, um, Always. Joseph? Always. And our hands. And our hands. I sure. assume uh, we'll do this finely, finely chopped. Yes, it's all it's adding uh, flavour into the dish without adding too too much salt into it. And our sauce will also bring out that flavour. Now one thing with carrots, some people like to peel the skin off. Do you recommend that or do you think it's alright if we just go ahead? You like only this? need to wash it thoroughly just to make sure that the, there's no dirt on it. You don't need to peel it because you want also to maximise the amount of fibre and also not to waste vegetables because when you peel the carrots, it means that some of the cost that you've paid for will be chucked in the rubbish. And we want healthier families as well as wealthier families by saving more money. And carrots, you can grow them in your garden. Um, I see that you've, uh, your auntie or your grandma's got a, a, some tar in her backyard. Maybe she could mix some carrots into it. Exactly. That's, uh, she has something different in there every time I go there. And it's lucky that she does have a big backyard so she can have big garden with her. What if someone didn't have a big backyard? You can um, get containers, yeah. um, even chili bins. You know, chili bins? Chili bins. Mm. You know, sometimes we uh, import some of our fish and seafood from the Pacific Islands and you can recycle those chili bins and, and put soil into them and grow herbs and, and different vegetables and have them close by. So that's the carrots done, giving us that lovely flavour that you can see in there. All different kinds of flavours, giving us different kinds of nutrients. Is that right, Muffy? And crunchy as well. Yeah, here we go, a bit of texture. Yeah, a bit okay. of texture in there. So our lovely vermicelli seems to be ready. Does that look okay? 
Yeah, it looks well soaked. And look at the water. The water has gone down. So it's well hydrated now. Okay. There we go. Get rid of that excess water. Okay. All right, we'll come back here while that drains. We've got our chicken here. Now, what have you done with the chicken here? Um, chicken here, we've left the skin off because the skin has the fat in them. Okay. It has the fat, the lousy fat Ooh. that's not good for the heart. Right. So we're leaving that aside. I know there's flavour in it, but we've got other flavours in our uh, salad. Okay. And we're just using lean uh, chicken. Okay. And today we're using about two to three cups okay. of chicken. So I'll, so I'll just add that in. Just add that in. Okay, here we go. Nice, all of that in. And while the chicken, we've used chicken because it's cheaper per kilo. Yeah. But if you want to be in a, like a festive celebratory type uh, mood, mm. you can go for prawns. Yeah. Or you can also add mussels or crab meat or surimi. But not many people know that crab meat is only flavoured flour. Really? Really. Wow. So That's news. So maybe for seafood you can use mussels and prawns. Okay. And less prawns and more mussels. Right. Kind of looks like a bit of leftovers. So I guess whatever you have in your fridge, you could probably chuck in there, right? Definitely. Leftover vegetables that you don't use for your curry maybe, you can chop them into your, into your salad here. Okay, so what I've got here is uh, some more greens for us. So this might give us a bit of flavor. So what we've got is how much uh, mint do we have here? We've got half a cup of mint. And some. And half a cup of coriander. Okay, so this might give us a bit of flavor. So we probably won't need a bit of salt or, or pepper. No, because salt will increase people's high blood pressure. Okay. It will increase your blood pressure and my blood pressure. <sighs> All right, don't want that. Don't want that. All right, finely chopped, is that okay? Yeah, just finely I'm chopped. Not damaging anything here. Some people like coriander because it's got that strong, um, a very different um, aroma to it. Okay. Depends if you like it, you can use more. All right. If you don't really like it, you can use less, less of it. But definitely it does replace the salt. Okay, so season to taste. Season to taste. Okay, finely chopped as well or? Uh, finely chopped as well, the mint. Okay. And these are mint that they use for mint teas and other All sweets, right. but this is good. I smell that. Should we move on to the sauce? Yes, why not? That will be our last touch. Okay, what we've done here is just uh, we've made a little sauce to give it that extra bit of flavor. Although it looks really nice and it's going to taste really good, this sauce will just be that cherry on top. Okay, so what I've done is I've added half a cup sweet chili sauce. We've also got one tablespoon of this fish sauce. And we've got two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now what I've used here is an accurate measure of one tablespoon, but you can use your tablespoons at home, that's also quite fine. So this is what I've got in here. I'm just gonna mix that up, make sure all that good flavors all mixed in. People will have to be careful with fish sauce, don't they, Joseph? Because it could um, overtake all the flavor with that fishy, fishy taste. Mm. So that's and I hear, right. I hear sometimes uh, fish sauce and things like soy sauce might have quite a bit of sodium or salt in them. Yes, yeah, so reading your, the food labels, um, making sure that you, you do have that taste, but not too much, because you don't want to increase the blood pressure and, and end up with stroke, and you Wouldn't don't want that. to leave your families too early in life. Definitely not. Okay, so what's our next step with this? And we've got the vermicelli. Okay, I can see that. Here we go. This is quite different to chop soy, isn't it? Yeah, chop so you have to add your soy sauce and a lot of soy sauce. In we go. Yeah, we can remove that out of the way. Here we are. Look at that. Okay. I can, would you be able to mix in that bowl? I think we can. We can give it a shot. Okay, let's try this out. I might leave it to the professional to do it. Let's just try. So this is just mixing all the flavor because we want all the, that sauce, that beautiful aroma that you just added in, Joseph. And all that herbs, all the vegetables. 
We want it all mixed up. You can smell it. Can you smell that? Oh my gosh, I'm getting quite hungry here. And you can have it, you can have it by itself, or you can eat it with um, wholemeal bread mm. and more fiber. Or what's your favorite Pacific staple? Oh, probably manioke. Manioke. Mm. Well, people call it cassava or tapioca. Tapioca, that's right. And do you want to have a taste of it? Oh, if I may. This is a very refreshing uh, light lunch. Okay. Or you can um, also pack it into the kids' lunch boxes. Or you can also pack it into your own lunch box. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Just now, right. If you don't believe me, you better try this out for yourself. Healthy, happy, wealthier eating, everyone. Malomo.